Not every day we get a demo from Mike. Yeah. App, you know, feature, gesture. Oh, God. Um, there's too many. There's too many, but let me show you the one. Um, if you want a media, let's bring up the video. Bring this up. Put my glasses on to hurt your seat. Put this in. Um, and then, let's bring up Quake. This is my favorite feature. It's called multitasking in real time. So we're lo loading up Quake 3. Let's give it a second. All right, so now we've got the 3D movie, we've got the, the HD movie running and Quake running simultaneously. That's cool. Yeah. That's my favorite wow, feature. Really nice. Isn't that really awesome? Cool. How much horsepower does it take to do that? Well, if it's done right, not as much as you'd think because because of the multitasking environment. Right, it's real-time yeah. multitasking. Uh, all the shows here in Las Vegas use Kunix. The Cirque du Soleil and all those you know, diving shows where they're diving through the water uses Kunix because they need that millisecond accuracy on, on their, um, you know, when they open the trap doors. And they fall does, that, does that help? I mean, that does help. That's cool. Remember, so everything's still running, right? So. <laughs> Is that a loaded question? That's a pretty loaded question. Um, How about true mobile computing? Well, that's been that's what we've been doing since 1987. So we've been trying to get to a mobile computing environment that actually was seamless, connected no matter where you were. And I think with 4G Playbook, we've achieved it. Only took what? How many years would that be? 87? To 2011? So I can quote you on that then? No. Oh, 87. Oh, 87. Right, of course. So, no, no, you're right. You're right. Three. No, 2020. 20, 2024. 2011. Right? 24 years. So, Mike, I can quote you on that then? What's that? Mobile computing? Why not? Great. So, have you seen, like, these are all Flash apps, eh? They're running? Mm. Right. And this Elmo one. So right now we've got, we're going to have to shut down some of this stuff, but everything's running. Uh, we'll just get rid of that one. Is there any kind of view where you can kind of see everything running from a higher, like, yeah. like multiple? So that's, that's the most zoomed out again. That's the most zoomed out. Okay. Yeah. So you go in here, you pick what you want to see. <laughs> Oh, wow. But you're also, as you say, doing HDMI 5. Stereo speakers? Yep. Which, uh, now, when, when this finish and then you go to the when, next. Yeah. when this was designed, was it designed in a way that you can attach third party hardware accessories easily? Um, well, you can do that with, oh, it's got the Wi Fi. The, um, the USB connection can drive an Ethernet. Mm -hmm. So. What about changing the background? Is that pretty easy to do or is that you have to go through multiple steps just to change the background? I don't think so, no. It's, we've disabled it for the show. Right. Uh, yeah, it's probably, it looks pretty easy enough. So. Yeah, those are just all your features. We disabled it. Um, I think we can shut that down. Yeah. Which side do you want to go to? You want to go to any? Let's uh, screw a new tab. Uh, I want to see this. Lady. Supposedly, we have a Lady Gaga video. I don't want to see. But, so, just so you know, but all you've done, um, this is your plane of apps okay. that are running, right? right. And anytime you go random into them, or you can walk between them. Right. right, and if you leave it, it'll just fill up the screen. It's a little bit, it reminds me a little bit of WebOS. With, with the, I, I, I you know, know you've heard that before. I've heard that before. Mike, what about app management? Does the system shut down the apps that aren't being used, or does it stay running? That's all programmable. Running? You can program it, or you can, for instance, if you want to get rid of an app, it's really easy. Just pick what you want to get rid of. Let's let's shut down Quake. Done. I didn't even have to stop it. Memory's been cleaned up. So do you rely more on developers to control that, or no? The users controlling it. Okay. You started it. You want to get rid of it? Just get rid of it. But if you don't, if you're lazy. You leave. 15 apps open, so does that system start to kick in and say, hey, hey, it's time to shut down the app? It, it basically conserves memory. That's what it's doing. So it's it's like conserving the real-time memory. 
really sweet screen. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Yeah. What's, the, what's the resolution of this? It's 1024 by um, 600. And then the, the viewing angles are like pretty excellent. Yeah, I was... Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, and then the the dual core chip is it? Um, is it it's it's an ARM Cortex A9. Yeah, I'm not confirming anything at this point. It's an awesome chip. So oh, so you go up. Okay, I got it. Mm-hmm. I got it. Mm-hmm. And then this is this is just like BlackBerry Six, just slightly different right, icons. Right. Mm-hmm. You can do this, right? You got the different uh, categories. Do you have the uh, apps. The app world on here? I don't have it on here. What about um, book, the ebook reader? Do you have anything? You know, on? I had all that, but I think they took it off for the show. Okay. We're just being very careful what we show. Uh, let me show you this kind of stuff, though. Watch this. So this is um, some serious horsepower required for this. Like I don't know what the engineering target is, but Watch this. it's going to be a reasonable amount. Wow, is that insane? So it's obviously using a lot of graphic acceleration. Oh yeah, look at this. That's yeah. impressive. That's what these guys do. Okay, so we've got this running, right? Let's start up a whole bunch of these. Um, and how much running. RAM is it using? The hump? Is, it, is it a gig? Or a There's a gig of RAM. Okay. Yeah. Just give it a second. This is another big one. A very big one. Okay, so we've got that, that running. Right. And while that's running, let's bring up something else. Now we're going to slow it down because we're about to load it up with just an insane amount of work. So as you can see, this is a uh, 3D ray tracing in real time, and you can change it. So you can change the scene. Uh, it's like dark. Let's try space. See what that's like. Yeah. Right. And then uh, let's make the windows a little more interesting. Oh. Where is it? Change window model. Uh, okay. And get rid of that. And now you can see. See that? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. See the the real time feature. Right? Yeah. Now all these are running at the same time. Watch. See that? That's insane. That's cool. It's like to the point you've been waiting for, like a mobile tech. It's like amazing. That's very cool. You want to... <laughs> Thanks for the demo, Mike. You want to walk out with it?